hello friends and welcome to Troidal Power Presents Power Playthroughs Podcast with Troidal Bauer. Uh, this is the podcast we play games in a powerful way and we're playing a game from Uppercut Games and Screen Australia and Unreal Engine 4. Um, and we're on Twitch so there might be people chatting. Uh, we're playing City of Brass. Um, a guy's holding up a, a medallion of some sort with a ruby in it and walking towards a like uh, archway with a gate in the middle of the desert. And there's a um, an urn type thing here, and he holds the amulet up to the urn, and it explodes outwards. And there's a fiery genie, a djinn, um, pops out of it, and crosses his arms and nods at me because I held the amulet up. It's all in first person here. And then he claps his hands and disappears, and the gate opens, and I walk through the gate, and then I can see him on the horizon. He's massive now, um, and he holds his hands up, and a whole like. A city is just coming up into the sky out of the sand in front of me, and uh, it's it's a golden, a big golden opening that looks like the medallion that I have, and red tapestries hanging down, and I swing a sword and have a whip, and there's a whole bunch of people running towards me, and then I swing a sword at a zombie-looking guy, and the screen cuts to black and says, "City of Brass, press any button." Hello, friends. Welcome to Turtle Power Presents Power Playthroughs Podcast. As I was saying. Um, I don't know much about this game. I just bought it today uh, in the New Year's sale um, for $2. Um, I've had it on my, my Deku Deals um, price drop alert list. Hang on, I'm going to move my microphone. I was sitting like way too far forward. Um, I've had it on my price alert list, but I thought it was, I thought this was like a Metroidvania ish game, but it turns out it's a first person shooter roguelike, maybe. And I think it, it's got somebody who worked on. Um, Bioshock. It said it said from a Bioshock veteran. So I, uh, that's interesting. Um, City Brass, Blacksmith's Forge, new weapons and items. Welcome to update 1.6, Blacksmith's Forge. Adds a huge variety of new weapons to the Helion, Revenant, Soldier, and Brigand. It also includes new objects to find, pick up, and hurl. The Hive of Bees, the Curse of Solomon, and the Urn of Frost. Build 1.2. Okay, begin game. Let's check our options. Our volume's okay. Um, controls... Just looking to see if there's going to be anything about... Ooh, let's turn our brightness up. I, I like my brightness up, personally. Um, nothing about uh, subtitles, so I guess we'll just click New Game. Play Tutorial. Yes. Yes, Tutorial, please. Just in case. Just in case it's weird in some fashion. You never know. Loading Tutorial, it says. Oh, look at my guy swinging his sword around. That's what he do. Um, let's see, just a moment. All right, here we go. Left stick to move, right stick to look around. We're in, it looks like a, a, like a courtyard in that building and there's that amulet shape above us, but there's a door ahead of us and there's an arrow that's definitely uh, compassing us towards the door. We have four health, zero money, and three of a genie symbol, whatever that means. Wide open the door. Okay. Hello, hello ghosty. Welcome, old traveler, to these streets of brass and death. Enter and find that which will be your curse, as it was our curse and remains still. Okay. Thanks, creepy ghosty man. Hey, there's a big urn. Should we hit it with a sword? Yes. It broke satisfyingly. Um, ooh, hey, what's this? Pick up. I got some treasure. 25 gold's worth. Now I have a whip in my left hand. I bet if I push my left trigger. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I do. I do swing my whip if I press left trigger. Uh, press B to jump. Okay, right. Tutorial. What's this ghosty man say? Behold, we built this city here a thousand years and amassed treasures from all quarters of the earth. As a jewel in the desert, the brass towers of the city shone with wealth and our pride. I just realized that this ghosty man is standing over a corpse. Um, that's unfortunate. All right, uh, jump up some walls here, press and hold B to climb, okay. There we go. Oh, here's another ghosty man. But when all are rich beyond imagining, who would be a servant? And so in our power and recklessness, our rulers bound the diabolical genies into servitude. That's, yeah, making genies your slaves is always going to work well. Um, my checkpoint's still pointing. I guess I just have to go around here. Okay. Uh, let's see. Pre run, jump, and hold B to cross wide gaps. 
All right. I was gonna say I don't think it's giving me a sprint button, but it looks like I didn't do it. I just had to, just had to be going. Ooh, some more money. Yes, please. Up to 100 gold. Use A to crouch. Okay. Run and crouch to slide for speed boost. Oh, okay. Got it. Do, do, do. Just doing some light parkour. Ooh, press Y to pick up treasure. Yes, please. Up to 150 now. But a city filled with dread magics was no jewel. Rather, it was a beacon of warning. Our allies fled and refused to return. Our trade dried up and one cannot eat gold. We began to starve. Oh, there's a bunch of treasure up here. I see you. Use your whip to pick up distant objects. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's as high as I can go with that. Um, Follow the arrow to the exit. But I gotta talk to this boy first. Wait. I'm trying to figure out if I actually have a run speed. If I, like, click in the left stick. That's often sprint. I don't think so. Okay. Dead boy says, Madness reigned. Power and magic twist the mind. We filled our city with traps to protect our wealth, against whom we knew not, but who would visit such a bedeviled place? Oh, hello, there's a there's a live person here. Oh, uh, well, okay, I say a live person. He appears to be a skeleton. I whipped him in the head as the prompt is suggested to stun him. And now, do I stab him in the back? No, I'm gonna whip him in the head again. I'm standing right behind him, but I'm just gonna whip him in the head. Whip him in the head. I'm just gonna whip him in the head. I'm just gonna whip him in the head. I can't whip him in the head again, apparently. He's just standing here doing like an idle bouncing animation. I'm afraid he's gonna attack me if he sees me. Let's move in front of him. Nope, he's just gonna hang out there. All right, you do you, buddy. Okay, here's another one. Uh, press the R to attack with your sword. I don't wanna. I'll just whip him in the head and run past this guy. Let's go talk to another ghost demon. As the curse took deeper hold, lo, we turned on each other like rabid dogs. But those in the city can never truly die. The streets became fueled, filled, excuse me, the streets became filled only with the dead. All right. Use your shove to push enemies into traps. I'm gonna press the R button to shove this guy. Ooh. I pushed him onto a square of uh, tiles and some spikes came up and stabbed the skeleton to death use whip grab to drag enemies to the traps cool so my left trigger is a regular whip move and then um my left shoulder button pulls them with my whip here's another ghostman in time the city sank beneath the sands waiting for someone to break the curse but only fools come intent on taking the riches for themselves none ever leave all become cursed all right so that's, I guess, the hook for, um, it says keep trying to reach the center of the city. That's the hook for our roguelite here, is that we're trying to trying to be the person who makes it through. And you, fool, will you learn from our folly? Will you be the one to free us from our torment? Will you free yourself? Ooh, spooky question. I like it. Let's find out. Walked into another courtyard here. Um, looks like I can whip onto this thing and pull myself up. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So I can like hook shot with my whip a little bit and then walk through some doors. And I think we're gonna do uh, a real run now. Um, okay. So there are a bunch of different characters. There's the fool, the traveler, the soldier, the brigand, the hellion, and the revenant. We're gonna start with the fool. Um, ZR to attack with sword, ZL to whip. Um, it looks like the traveler has the same loadout. Um, Oh, but there's some plot here. So the, the fool, it says, having traversed the bewildering dunes with the help of a borrowed amulet, the fool raised the city of brass from the sands and entered, little knowing that he would become as cursed as the city itself. And the traveler says, following the trail of the thief who stole the amulet she had worked so hard to acquire, the traveler at last reached the city of brass, seeking fortune and revenge. She entered the gates unafraid of the dangers lurking within. That's cool. Um, and there's a section that says burdens and blessings. Um, uh, oh, that are just available to me. Uh, increased player damage, increased player health, fewer enemies, decreased number of traps. Divine Blessing Burns allow you to make the game easier or harder depending on the challenge you're after. Cool. I like that game. I like that. We're not going to use any of these for now, but I like that that option's there. And we're just going to go ahead and dive into a regular old run and see how it goes. Loading level one, the abandoned outskirts. 
And like I said, I believe this is a roguelike game, so I think we're going to die very hard, is my guess at how this is going to go. Is a lot of death. But that's okay. Um, all right. Find the exit, it says. And there's there's an hourglass in the corner. Do I have a time limit? I didn't expect that. Okay. Uh, I found a potion. Uh, tincture of the gale. Ooh, okay. Ooh, what's happening? A lot's happening. Okay. There's a spike trap in front of me. I'm glowing yellow because of that tincture. And there is a... Um, a, a companion I can summon with 200 something. What is this? My journal is blank. That's not helpful. Okay. Um, or I can wish. I'm going to press Y to wish. Uh, I think this... I don't know what that did, but he turned from blue to green. Okay. So there's a spike stabbing up in front of a door. I'm going to wait for the spikes to go off and then open the door. Okay, I'm through. In the next room. There's an armless skeleton running at me. So whip and whip him to stun him. And then I need to hit him with my sword. Okay, here's another one who's got a arrow, bone arrow, and is shooting at me. And she's got like a cool headdress. And then there's one that's just like a skeleton head on top of a green torso and no legs crawling on his hands at me. Oof. Okay. Let's take some treasure. Yeah, treasure, 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 treasure. I'm up to 100 gold. Uh, let's break through this wooden wall. And there is vents blowing wind. We're going to wait for them to stop and then run past them. Break down some barricade thing and pick up some treasure. I've picked up a jar now. What can I do with a jar? I don't know, but I'm going to pick up more treasure. What's this thing? Is it going to explode? Yes, that is an exploding urn. OK. And there was a wind thing to try to. OK, the wind thing hurts. Oh, no, I stepped onto a spike trap. Wow, there's just a lot going on all at once. Okay, here is a merchant genie guy. What can I afford? Light of following. Sure, let's buy the light of following. I don't know what that does. Oh, one of the creepy crawling torsos is crawling at me again. Um, oh, I have a light. I, I glow now. So if I go into a dark place, I guess, that's good. Okay, let's watch out for spike traps and pull this skeleton boy towards me. Throw a jar at his head. Okay, somebody's shooting arrows at me or something. There's just a lot going on. <clears throat> okay, this is a hard game to narrate. Um, I can buy health, but I don't have enough money, so we're just gonna push forward. And here's a skeleton. We're gonna whip him towards me, stun him, and then dispatch him. That was great. Here comes another guy. He has a scimitar, but I stunned him and then got three good whacks on. And then here's two more of those guys and a torso boy. Okay, torso boy, you're up first. Because you creep me out. I don't like how you crawl. Okay. <clears throat> um, I'm going to take a break from trying to describe everything that's happening on screen here to tell you a little bit about how the game feels. Um, movement feels pretty good, pretty quick. I think I need to increase my camera speed if that's an option. I think that would feel a little bit better. Um, the the traps are interesting because you're so focused on dealing with enemies that the traps um it's easy to just step onto a trap because you're you're like thinking about dealing with your enemies instead of uh watching out for traps um your weapons are your sword i only have half a heart of health i am going to die um i just got punched in the back while i was looking at a merchant and died <clears throat> I was killed by a half man. That's what that the torso boy is called. Um, loot 175, time 3 minutes and 40 seconds, rank 1, 147 experience. Let's just restart again. And you just have your sword and your whip, which is kind of cool, but you can pick up stuff to throw, I guess, um, for more ranged offensive ability. Kind of like that. Um, long loading screen here. You kind of just want to get back into it in a roguelite like that. You know, I was only playing for three minutes and 40 seconds. Let me just let me just get going again. All right, here we go. Find the exit. There's a potion again. The tincture of the gale. I'm minus button. What is this? Uh, floods of refutation flow forth, knocking back all nearby. OK, that sounds cool. Um, that's weird. The robot that posts alerts in Discord just posted a bunch all at once. I don't know why. Um, let's let's take the tincture of the gale. I'll push some enemies away. 
And then we can't afford to buy anything from this uh, guy because we don't have any money. I definitely stepped on a trap. I'm already down to three health instead of the four that I should have started with. Whoa, this guy just jumped up onto a ledge. I didn't expect that. I thought you'd stay down below where I left you. Oh, this Gale thing is kind of cool. It does just, like, as enemies get close to me, it pushes them back. Neat. Um, oh, there's a bunch of people in that room. I don't think I have to go into this room. Oh, I accidentally exploded them. I'd like to say I did it on purpose, but I didn't. It was an accident. Okay. Ah, oh, I'm already down to two hearts. Okay, let's open this door. Oh, there's a spike trap just on the other side of the door. Okay, if I hit it with my whip, it sets it off. Pick up a torch thingy. I'm gonna throw this at somebody when I find somebody to throw it at. That guy right there. Throw! Did I set him on fire? Yes, yes I did. All right, that was kind of cool. I think maybe I was going faster paced than I need to in this game. Ooh, I can afford a bonus, but I'm worried that somebody's gonna attack me from behind while I'm looking here. Um, the Blade of Cleaving, Pads of Silence, or Cudge of Refutation. Let's buy a Blade of Cleaving. Uh, new journal entry. This hefty blade increases your reach. Cool. All right. I've got uh, my compass thing. I'm, I'm gonna just try to follow it the best I can. I stepped onto a spike trap and died. A minute and 54 seconds. I didn't even pay attention to what my loot or my experience was. A minute and 54 seconds. Whew. This game's um more intense than I anticipated that it was going to be. It's fun, but I didn't I didn't expect the the the, the level of intensity, you know? All right, here's a new tincture, a potion, drink potion. Oh, that's a spike trap. Yep, I saw it. I saw it as it stabbed me. Quintessence of Wealth was the name of that potion that I just drank. Um, that's good, probably. Um, all right, here we go. Already at three health. Here's a half man. Let's just take him out. I don't like you. Okay. Ooh, big treasure chest. Are you a trap? Open. Yeah, 220 wealth. Oh, hello. Let's grab you and you. I'm now at 270 wealth. Let's break down a door. And hello, genie. Uh, would I like health? Yes, please. For 250, I'm back at full health. Okay. Archer. Oh, damn. I tried to do a cool thing where I, like, jump down. Okay. The other archer shot me. B did I mention there was another archer? She shot me. There's also half me. I was trying to do a cool thing where I jumped down on her and, like, stabbed her as I jumped down. It didn't work, but it seemed like it was going to be cool. Instead, she, like, Spartan kicked me in the chest. Uh, so that's unfortunate. Hello, swordsman. Ow, I got headbutted by one of the armless boys. Oh, I'm at one health already. Here's a half man. So it's really about keeping your enemies stunned. I'm not half a health. I set myself slightly on fire. Okay. It's about keeping your enemies stunned while you attack them. And not letting this stupid bow and arrow lady shoot me. Okay, got her taken care of. Oh my gosh, there's so many traps. There was a spike trap that just popped up right next to me, almost killed me. Okay, I see there's a spike trap here. I'm gonna try and pull somebody into it. Yeah, half man walked right into it. Okay, here's another half man. Did he just try and spit at me? Is that what he does to attack? Okay, pushed him onto the spike trap. Good, good, good. Feeling good. Okay, with my half heart. Here's another spike trap and another boy. Let's pull him towards me. Yeah, get on that spike trap. Here's an archer lady. My whip's not long enough to reach her. Come over here. Yeah. No, don't. 
Don't shoot me. Oh, I'm hiding around a corner from her. She's gonna shoot me with that bow as soon as I pop out, isn't she? Ah, she shot an arrow. That means I can stun her. Yeah, I get, no, oh. She killed me. Or hit her once and then she killed me. Uh, 45 loot, I was killed by a warrior archer. Three minutes, 355 experience points. I'm still rank one. <sighs> All right, we're gonna do one more. This game is intense. It's really fast paced. Maybe I need to take it slow though. I mean, there's a lot of traps, so maybe I need to just slow my pace down a little bit, take my time, be calm. We're gonna try that as a strategy. Find the exit. All right, let's watch for traps. Don't forget that. Drink potion, don't know what it is. I see a trap. That was the Sap of Salatar. New journal entry, let's see. Holding through an endless supply of volatile vessels. So it replaced my sword with with uh, with grenades. Cool. Let's just throw a bunch of grenades in this room. <laughs> okay. Now remember, Troy. We're taking it slow. We're watching for traps. We're picking up treasure. There's a big treasure chest in the corner. We're gonna grab it real quick. Yeah. Give me that treasure. 250. Wealth. That's not bad. There's a little more. Okay, let's break down a door, go into the next room, take it slow, check for traps. There's a spike pit, we're gonna pull this armless man onto the spike pit, and then, whoa, he just walked past the spike trap. Um, apparently, he, he happened to go onto the spike trap right as it reset, and so it didn't kill him. So he hit me, I'm at three and a half health, but now I'm dealing with some archers. One I already took out, here's another one. Got her stunned. There we go, she's dead. Okay, here's a swordsman. I'm gonna pull him towards me, and stun him, and then hit him, and hit him again. Stun him again. There we go, okay. There's an exploding urn right next to me, so I'm going around that to avoid it. And there's... There's a couple people here. Um, but two of them just died on traps as they tried to get to me, which I'm fine with. That's fine with me. Okay. Up ahead, I see an armless man. Two armless men. Stun, sword, and he's gone. Okay. And here's the second one. Stun, sword. Okay. Here's an archer down below me. Let's whip her. Ah, I had to whip her twice. The first one made her drop her bow, and then the second one stunned her. Here's a merchant. Coin of soldiering, light of following, or blade of cleaving. Let's check what this light of following is. This charm of flame will light your way. That's all it does. Okay. Um, let's coin of soldiering. Let's get that. Um, makes any guard summoned from the cell sword genie deadly in combat. We we don't have a guard summoned from the cell sword genie. That sucks. Um, let's also get the Blade of Cleaving because we can afford it. Hey, and a light. Let's just buy everything. And I've still got 125 gold. Okay. So, these traps that just look like they're blowing air, I think they're blowing air in a deadly fashion somehow. I don't quite understand. Ooh, there's a spike trap right below me. I just about jumped right onto that. Let's set it off with my whip and then jump over it. Okay. Um, there are so many people here. Oh my gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay. That's two down, and there are, like, four guards up ahead of me that I can see. Four swordsmen. And an archer. Five swordsmen. Okay, I got one's attention. I'm just gonna let him run towards me a little bit. And then stun him. And then big sword. And then stun him. And then big sword. And he's still not dead. Stun. Big sword. He's still not dead. Big sword. There he goes. Okay, here's the second one. Stun. Big sword. Okay, there's two have noticed me now. Stun. Big sword. Okay, I hit them both with the big sword. Okay. One more hit on this guy, I think. Boom. Okay, doing good. Now, here's a spot where I can buy... Um. Oh, I picked up an explosive uh, jar. We're going to throw it at the archer. Yeah. Oh, I got two people with that one. I got the archer and a swordsman. 
Okay, this genie will sell me health for 250, and I only have 125. That's fine. We're at three health out of four. I'm trying to pick up. There we go. Oh, here's another swordsman. Threw a jar at his head. Hit him with a sword. He's still standing. And there's another one. I'm afraid there's going to be a trap I'm going to back into as I try and back off. Gosh, why won't this guy die? Okay, he's dead. Someone was laughing. Is there another person? Here's another person. Throw this jar at him. Oh, good. It was a torch. It set him on fire. And by a torch, I mean a lamp. Um, okay. We're doing so good this time. Yeah, come at me, friend. I want you to come at me because you're still... Oh, what? Who's hitting me? I stepped onto a spike trap. Damn it. Ha 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 ha. I threw a jar in an explosive barrel and exploded that guy. That felt good. Except for stepping on the spike trap. Um, needle of Tears. Sure. What's the Needle of Tears? Fast as a viper, but the wounds only run half as deep. So I just replaced my sword is what I did. Good. That sucks. I spent a lot for my super cool sword. Haha, ha, you stepped on a spike trap. New Divine Burden unlocked. Rebirth. Okay. Where we've moved into a room now. Um, there's at least one person in here who sees me now. And I'm going to whip that explosive barrel and explode them. Great. That worked wonderfully. Hello, treasure chest. Give me all your treasure. Hello, smaller treasure chest. Give me all your smaller treasure. Okay. Here's the door we need to go through, I think. Two people in... Ooh, spike trap in the doorway. Almost almost got me. You hate to see it. Um, okay, one of them stepped on a spike trap, but there's also an archer in here somewhere. Come on. Come at me, archer. She's just around the corner. Haha, <laughs> I pulled her onto the spike trap. Okay. Okay. <gasps> here's... We did it. Here's... We made it to the next area. We made it to the next area, friends. We made it through one area of this game. Loading level two, the Forbidden Markets. This is definitely going to be our last run for tonight. This game's fun. Um, if if I mean I, it's not a first-person shooter because it's not a shooter. It's a first-person action game, but it's a pretty fun first-person action game. Um, progress so far, okay. Uh, loot two seventy-five times six minutes and fourteen seconds. We're going to continue. Oh my gosh, wait! I just saw. Oh, I just saw the level tracker. So we've completed level one. We're now on level two, the Forbidden Markets. And the level tracker is a series of diamonds. The next diamond has a skull on it, which means it's a boss. Then there's two more blank ones, and then another skull, and then two more blank ones, and then another skull, and then two more blank ones, and then another skull, and then a really mean looking skull. So in total, there are two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen levels. And I'm all excited that I made it to level two, and there's thirteen levels in City of Brass. So. Uh, good amount of content in this game. Um, <gasps> ooh, this is if is the swindling is the name of the uh, the genie that showed up here, and he cost two seventy five for a thing called gamble, which I don't know what it is. And I have two seventy five. We're gonna buy gamble. Um, it's cycling through a whole bunch of things, and I get the shield of advancing now for free. Let's check the shield of advancing. Those who seek to harm you will not, as long as you hold the shield firm. Okay. Those who seek to harm you will not as long as you hold the shield firm. There's nothing I can press to like hold a shield. That is a pit trap. I saw you pit trap. What is it? A put 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 pun punja trap? Is that what Brian David Gilbert called it in that video he did for Polygon? Where he researched why there was a punja trap in uh Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2? That was a very cool kill I just did. I wish you guys could see it. And in fact you can see it if you head to turtlepower.com. No. Uh, if you head to youtube.com and look for Troidal Power, that's what it is, or just look in the notes of this episode, there will be a link to the YouTube version of this episode, where you can see me do a very cool kill, and another one. Oh, that felt good. It's like I know what I'm doing all of a sudden. It's suddenly a- whoop, spike trap. It's like suddenly I get this game. There's definitely a oh, okay, there's a genie in this room. There's a literal- honest to goodness genie his name is Etol the hurler according to my journal entry that just popped up and he's hurling fireballs at me 
which is not cool. <sighs> Meanwhile, there's a person down here shooting arrows at me, which is also not cool. And I've, I've died. I've died. I'm up to 667 experience points, still rank one, um, but our total time on that round was eight minutes and one second. Let's check the leaderboards just for fun. Um, what was that boo boo boo? Boo boo boo? Boo boo boo. Okay. Um, I don't have anything on my leaderboards. I guess is it only like friends who've played leaderboards? Um, yeah, that was City of Brass. Um, it is a first person action roguelike um, where you use a sword and a whip to fight your way through uh, hordes of enemies and a bunch of traps in order to uh, try to escape the city. Um, it's pretty cool. I, I like it. So the, the soldier character starts with a spear and a whip. Um, so does the br no the brigand has a, like uh, throwing darts, throwing knives. The helion is a straight up genie um, who has a lunging punch and a whip. And then the revenant is a uh, foot soldier who breaks free from the city's misfortune and has a bow and arrow and a whip. This is cool. Um, rebirth burden, enemies respawn. That was the burden I unlocked is I can make enemies respawn. Oh, no, thank you. No, thank you. Um, for two bucks, I'm delighted to have bought this game. This game is great for two bucks. Fantastic. Uh, I think I'd recommend this one, as long as you like a first person action game. It's pretty cool. Uh, that's been City Brass, thanks for hanging out. Uh, until next time, friends, Tafe, and hope for the best. This has been a presentation of the We Can Make This Work Probably Network. Follow us on Twitter at ProbablyWork for more of our questionable content. Also, we have a website called ProbablyWork.com.